G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jawoodle, and welcome back to Project Zomboid once again. But we're coming back this time in a completely different set of circumstances to how we've done the last few episodes. Zer, we are coming back. You can tell I'm excited by the fact I'm already stuffing up my words. We're coming back now a couple of days after I filmed the last episode that you saw. So I've gone away and been a diligent little mup, and I've gone and actually tried to learn how to play this game. Some of the basic mechanics that I didn't have a grasp of before, I've now gone away and learned, done the tutorial, watched videos, read articles people have written about like what the best kind of like strategies are. And I feel like now I'm much better equipped to handle the zombie hordes as I was before. For example, I now have a better understanding of how the inventory system works and how the combat system works. There's still a ridiculously steep learning curve ahead of me, but at least now I'm slightly better equipped to try and learn the game as opposed to just get bent over by any undead, decaying, decrepit being that decides they take my fancy. So I'm pretty excited to be back into it. I'm excited to actually play the game, not just be scared of the game for a nice welcome change. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to go with the survivor, the normal Project Zomboid thing as normal. I'll live in Muldra, Muldra, that place. Sure, give me that one next. And let's go, ooh. You know, of all the things I've been like researching, I never actually looked into this kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what the best one is. You know what? I'm just going to go the fire officer again because I do like having the extra fitness and extra strength. I feel like being an athletic person. Clearly, I mean, it's my dream to be one day eventually, not right now, but I like to, you know, wish I could be something that I'm clearly not. Being athletic in the apocalypse seems like a good idea. Extra fitness and extra strength for better zombie murder seems like a good idea. So I'll grab those. I also want to take resilience so that if i do i mean let's be honest a particularly uh enthusiastic zombie is probably gonna nibble on the end of my pinky finger and give me an infection so the better resilience i have against that the better it's gonna be for me just to you know hedge my bets in case i am i mean after all i am a galah at the best of times but to counterbalance that i'm gonna make myself a smoker as well which I know goes against all the things I said about having like fitness and strength and stuff like that because filling your lungs with things that aren't oxygen, generally not a great idea for keeping your breath under physical exertion, but we'll see how it goes. I have those, that balances me out. Let's go next. Let's just go random. Who have we got? Liana? Liana Barrow. I'm going to call you Baz. I'm not going to get to know you well enough to figure you're going to die pretty quickly, but we'll see how we go. Give you some purple socks. We've always had something purple of us. Like getting married with something old and something blue and something borrowed and whatever the other stuff is. We always have to have something purple. Let's go. Dive straight in. Let's get it going. Alrighty, righty We're starting off. Let's start crouching. So we don't make any undue noise. Let's see what we've got in our house. Not a double story house looks like, just a single story, which is a shame. My goal for day one is to find, hopefully, a uh, double story house for me to go and live in. That would be lovely, bloody dovely. I will take the matches. I will need those because I do need to have a smoke at some point today. I'll take the food. I don't know why I got like kicked away from all the shells I was trying to raid. What else is in here? Anything else? I'll take the ice cream and I will take... I'll take the bread knife for now, not really as a weapon as such, just something that needs to like break a window or something. Having some sort of tool to do that with seems like a good idea. I'll take the dish towel, in case my gooch gets soggy down the road a little bit, and I'll take the bowl. Um, I'll take the lunchbox as well. I do want to have some sort of container. If I can put the container on my secondary, on my offhand, so I can stack th uh, some stuff into there, which would be good. In fact, let's get all the food. Let's go all of that and just put you in my lunchbox. Lunch in lunchbox makes sense to me. I will favorite you so that accidentally lose you that uh, lose you later on. And you, this is something that I didn't realize that I could do. I have like a hot bar, so I can attach things down there. So if I need to whip that out in a really uh, awful situation, I can press two, pull out my dagger, put it back away again like I'm a freaking pirate. And that's gonna work out well for me in the long run. So I'll keep you, keep you. I will fill up both of you to have some water to drink. Look at that, we're already getting our efficiencies on. This is, <laughs> this is already a better start than all the other episodes combined. I'm already doing better. Not that that would be particularly hard. There are some books in here that I would like to read at some point, though now's not really the time for that. Got some clothes in there, some pants, a blue electric guitar, but we know that's a shit ass weapon from when we died with it in our hands not long ago. And there's no TV in here. Okay, let's not dawdle here too long. Oh, there's a car down there. I vaguely recognize this place. This looks like the place where I've died once before. Uh, in fact, yeah, I spawned like that house all the way up in the top right there once upon a time, didn't I? Okay, 
That's fine. That's fine. Old mate Pink Jacket's coming over to get me. He's been stabbed with something. Well, I'm not going to stab you. There's someone's going to shove him to the ground and kick your teeth in. So this is one of the things that I learned. I have turned on, like, the aiming outline so I can see when they're within range. And it's just a matter of, like, just backtracking a little bit. Just walking away from him and trying to shove him down. There you go. Then when they're down, you walk over and put your heel to the top of their head like that. And you kill them. You have a butt knife and a pistol. I don't... Mm, mm. I don't want the pistol. Pistols are loud and pistols are bad, so I might stay away from that for the moment. I will take... I won't take the butter knife, actually. You can just hold on to that. In fact, what I'll do, in case I do want to come back for it later... No, I didn't want to put it in there. I'll put you on the ground next to the body, like that and like that. So if I ever do want a gun for any reason later on down the track, I can come back and pick that up. Gonna bud. I like your jacket. I would like your jacket. Jacket gives you scratch protection and I need protection from the zombies. Kick you in the teeth. Take your jacket. Thank you very much. I'll also take your socks and uh, rip that into bandages should I need it. Have a look at Squiz. No one's coming for me. No, nope, we're all good. Nice. My only real goal for the moment is just to... Oh, it scares me. It scares me when front doors are open like that. My only experience with open doors, I mean, not my only experience, but like quite often, if the front door is open, it means that the house is going to be alarmed and that would be bad for me. Let's turn you on. Let's tune you into life and living. Tune in, turn the volume down because I've no idea what time it is, but uh, TV programs give you experience in things. So when like a cooking show or a woodworking show comes on, it'll give you lots of experience very quickly in whatever skill happens to be on the tube at that point. So having a TV is a good thing. You're still buzzing about, but that's all right. That's all the books. I want like, I'll take that. I'll take one of the can openers as well, actually. I'll take the vinegars. Anything else in here that's going to be good for me? No, no. Ooh, a fork, I can have a kitchen knife, a mug and a bowl. Not really anything. That's all right. Don't give up hope yet, Josh. Still very early days. Just try and make good decisions at the moment. We can deal with it later. Oh, fuck. Oh, what was I talking about? That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Uh, all right, let's go this way. Oh, there's going to be zombies freaking everywhere. All right, I am in... Oh, fuck. I'm in a bit of strife. This was bad. This is really bloody bad. They're going to be coming for that alarm from everywhere. Oh, my God. All right. Try to flip the gaps, put the gaps, put the gap. Oh, it was close. All right, just get the fuck out of here, Josh. Don't linger. Don't do anything. Just get the shit out of here. That's a big wall over there. Okay, I'll use my advantage. If I head down over this way, they can't come down here. Oh, man. I'm panicking and I'm really fucking hot. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Everything in the bloody world is coming to try and eat me like I'm the new flavor of Doritos. Uh, let's go around here. I need to break their sight lines as much as possible. I'm going to have a relative fucking armada behind me right now. Get around the blue kicks. Oh, it was really tight. Really tight, really squeezy. Oh, man. All right, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. This is not the start I was hoping for. Punch through the middle. Oh, it's close. But see how all those guys are still heading up to the alarm? There's the horde over there. If I can keep using that to my advantage, just keep, like, weaving around. Hopefully, I'll manage to get out of here relatively unscathed. Double story house. It's good to know about. Oh, man. That's not good. I don't have a freaking weapon yet. I'm still trying to find freaking food and shit. And you're sending armadas after me. Fuck off with that nonsense. I think for the most part, I've ditched my tail. I just weave through the trees and buildings. Oh, that guy's got a bag. I want that bag. I managed to get away from most of them. So now that I'm away and I'm less scared about it, it's actually potentially a bit of a blessing in disguise. Because if that's gone off and drawn in all the zombies from everywhere... It means so, like, they're all leaving this area. Ah, oh, fuck, except for those guys. So if I can, you know, move into an area with less zombies in it, then hopefully I'll have a bit more room to move and not have to worry about zombies all the bloody time. Let's just go up like this. They're all over there. Just try to lurk around these trees so those guys who were just following me won't follow me for too much longer. Oh, man. So, yeah, so hopefully all the zombies that were down here, like this puppet down here, is going to cruise up and go to that alarm. If they can clear the neighborhood, that would be lovely dovely. I don't know. I don't know. I just really wish I had found something better in that place. Like either like, you know, some food, some more like a weapon or some tools or something. That would have been the dream. But it's all over now. I've got to deal with what I've got. Deal with the hand I've been dealt. I've actually uh, like bailed and sprinted down into a pretty nice area, actually. These are all like the brick two-story homes, which I'd very much like to live in one of these. I just want to find one of the places that has a relatively good area around it. Plus like the layout of the house matters to me as well. 
So I might even just have a cheeky squeeze around this one. There are some like cops and whatnot up there. It turns out those guys heard a burglary alarm and like, ah, whatever. We'll send an angry mob over to do our home security. We're just going to hang out over here and just trundle about and wait for a lurker to show up. Turns out it was a good bloody idea because sure enough, I did show up. But see, look at this. Look at this. All the zombies have gone into the alarm, which means this whole area is basically free and ready for me to take over. There's no one here. There's no one bloody here. I am worried now that like another alarm would be even worse for me because it would draw all those zombies that are already clumped up over there down to me here. But it's a chance you're going to have to take. Door. Door's locked. All right, we'll try the windows then. There's a TV buzzing away inside. Can I get inside, please? Come on. Come on. Put your body back into it. If there was a fire right now, if there was a screaming child that's melting in the upper story, you'd be a terrible firefighter. Can't even get in there and save it. There you go. I'll take everything I just said back. I can hear somewhere. There is a zombie beating on a door somewhere around here. I'm not sure where. It's not that one. I have to find it. If there's a zombie inside this house, I need to be prepared for it when all shit hits the fan later on. This door's open, so I'll just go in this way. It's always kind of handy. First things first, go and open the front door in case I do need to make an escape later on. There we go. Where are you going to be, dickhead? Where the hell are you going to be? Let's quickly go. The light switch is on the other side, Josh. Good job, you. Device options, turn you down. You are tuned into the right station. If you start cracking on about some station later on, I'll know to come and watch you. Let's go here. Let's go close window. Let's go close curtains. All right, I need to find this zombie first. Where are you? Are you upstairs, maybe? I don't know where you are. I need to find you too sweet. Sounds like he's in here somewhere. It's very bloody dark, though. Can I real quick? Can I go here? Can I turn on the lights, please, so I can see? Nope, not that one. Oh, fuck. Oh, it was close. That was really close. Should probably, like, face the correct direction before I started opening doors. Don't usually like fighting inside, but don't really have an option right now. Can you just go, like, like that? Paint my walls with all your innards. There's a digital watch. Thank you very much. You on my left wrists. I also make sure you don't have an alarm set, pretty buddy. Please set alarm. You do not. Nice. Okay, what I'll do, I'll grab that corpse real fast and just get you the shit out of my hallway. Your oozing goops can still be on the walls. I don't really mind too much, but you need to get the shit out of my house. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Purple light bulb. We're going to go full Phillips Q or full like my shelves over here with all the purple lights on it. Thank you very much. I'll leave you there actually because this is going to be my house. I think I'll take one of the garbage bags because so that can hold 20 and reduces 10 re reduces 10 weights as opposed to my lunchbox, which only reduces five and can only carry four. So that's actually a better storage to have. Can I go? Actually, wait, let's go. Equip primary. So I have you and I'll go all of you, stash you into this one. Although I'm in my house now, I can probably just like put it into a tub or something somewhere. That's fine. Go back to here and unequip you. There we go. Unequip. Right. What else is around here? More matches. I'll take you. Thank you very much. So I got those favorited. Yes, I do. Need some durries though. If someone out here has a filthy habit, they've been trying to hide from their partners. They've been stashing their durries in the sink or something. This is the time for me to stumble upon it. No, just some grapes. All right. That's all right. I'm happy that we found somewhere relatively early. It's only 2.30 in the afternoon. So we'll close the curtains. Trying to start like locking this place down. Try and make it our own for a moment. Oh, that is bloody good. That's a saw. So like tools and stuff, so, like hammers, saws, screwdrivers. Those things are things I need to be on the lookout for because that's how I can start building reinforcements and things for my life. Oh, and a bleach bottle. Pour out the bleach. This is supposed to be like the ultimate in water carrier. So I want to go here. I want to fill my bleach bottle, which means my kettle of water is now basically redundant. Yes, I got myself a nice brew of coffee, but not really my problem right now. You can just go, in fact, well, come to think of it, I'm in my house. I'll put it in a cabinet somewhere. If anyone would put it in this cabinet, uh, you, where are you? That one there. You can just have that one for me into that one. Yep, that'll be fine. Got a sheet. I'll take that. I can go up as and be some curtains for me. Lipstick, rubber ducky. As fun as it would be to squeeze rubber ducky right now, not really my priority. Uh, windows. Let's start putting sheets up. May as well do it now. While all the zombies are preoccupied, we can start making this place better for myself. And just make sure they can't see what I'm faffing about inside. There's not really much to write home about in this place, but that's okay. We will make do with what we have. Uh, I might even... There was this little, like, storage area just here with some boxes in it. So I might even just, like, stash some stuff into there. 
Uh, that can all go in the fridge downstairs. You, right, you could be favorite because you are my, my new best friend for all of my fluidy needs. That can stay with me, though you do need to be cleaned at some point. Tuna, I'm starting a little bit peckish, so I'll quickly just open you up and gargle you down. Hopefully there's not too much mercury inside you. Just like, well, how hungry am I actually? Let's go info. No, not that one. Losing weight, health, protection, temperature. Uh, does it not tell me how hungry I am? No? Okay, well, let's just start by eating like half a can of tuna, I suppose. Eat half. Hopefully I'll get rid of my peckishness. Baby? Yes, there we go. Feeling better already. All right, I'll just store what I can in this place. Go put the food down into the fridge downstairs. We should be good to go, I think. So that's... Oh, that's annoying. I can't, like, reach through to put... Come on, please. Add sheets. I can't reach through, like, the counter to put the sheet up on the last window in here. That's a problem. That's making me feel far less confident about living here than I was a second ago. Let's just put the sheet up on here, then. Here you go. Add the sheet up to there, and then drop you down, close the curtains. All right, so I am now ready. I've got zero in my bag. Got five pounds worth of garbage on me, but I don't have any ciggies at the moment. So I need to go find some ciggies. That is kind of numero uno priority. I'm gonna start to get anxious. The less I smoke for, the more anxious I get. No calming deep breaths of toxins make me feel better about my prospects. That's locked. I feel like if I'm going to find some ciggies, it's going to be in someone's shed. Someone's definitely, like, left some around somewhere. There we fucking go. What did I tell you? 20 ciggies, 20 dozens. Let's favorite them up. My favorite Winnie Blues. And chuff down a fat log. Oh, give it to me. Give it to me. I can feel the carcinogens reaping through my areolas. Not areolas. What's the little, like, the air sacs in your lungs called? I don't know. I don't know. Biology was never my strong suit. Now I've had a does. I'm feeling so much better. Another saw, propane tank, some charcoal. Well, to mass, some more ciggies. Fuck yes. 60 ciggies. Got a full fucking deck. Having a time. If I can I get you? Can I use you on my face to stop zombies munching off my nose? I hope so. There we go. Oh, look at ya. Look at ya. Like I'm playing freaking PUBG. That's a tier three helmet. Looking good, lass. Oh, here we go as well again. In like the paint cans, another 40 durries. Got a hundred dozens on me. Man, my addiction's not going to have a problem at all. And a metal pipe. I'll take you. And a walkie-talkie. So radios. But while I'm here, because I haven't actually made sure that like, the area around me is nice and safe. I just kind of like barreled in here. I know there's some cops up the road, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll deal. Yeah, there's a... Oh, there's a... There's a lot of coupler. All right. Fair play to you. Then let's go back down here where it was nice and safe and secure. So real quick... Metal pipes. I'm rolling with my bread knife at the moment. That's completely worthless. Never mind. I'm going to attach you to my back. Because the cool thing about that, you can see I've got this big, lovely candy cane looking thing strapped to my spine. I can pull you out when I need you. Put you back away and keep my hands nice and free. That's going to be a real good bloody time. Nice. Good. Okay. What else do I need? You can... Tie bandana. Okay. Fair enough. I thought I could scrap you. I guess not. All right, well, in that case, then, just go away and go away. Everything I've got here is nice and important. Looking bloody happy. What an absolute bloody time. What a start. I thought it was all going to go pear-shaped in the worst way. It's not the Marilyn Monroe way, like a bad way, because who likes fruit and vegetables anyway? When that alarm went off, but turns out it was all okay in the end. Well, I may as well go right in there. It's 5.30. There's lots of houses around. Let's go have a cheeky squeeze. Let's go have a gander. Let's go rifle through some gubs. I've put my leather jacket on because I want to go raid in this place, but don't want to come across anything too untoward. The worst thing I can do now is get complacent because I've had a good start. Good start's worth nothing if I get nibbled on and get turned into a zombie. So I'm going to try and avoid that if I can. I feel like there's definitely a zombie in here somewhere. Someone's bitten on something. But if you want to come out the front door, I'll happily deprave you of your life force, whatever's left of it. But I need you to come outside first. I suppose knowing there's a zombie inside might mean that I can confidently go inside. Like the zombie had set off an alarm before I would, right? Oh, something's on the TV. Quick, get inside. Get inside. What are we watching? What are we watching, old mate? We're turning you down and we're going to go not pause TV, life and living. Get you scheduled in. Anything on the tube? It's 6 p.m. Pancakes. I'll watch a pancake show. Oh, but there's zombies, though. I don't want to be a zombie's pancake. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. 
Oh, fine. I'll go deal with them up and upstairs. I'll come back to you in a second. Please don't eat all the crepes while I'm off and about. He sounds really close. I don't know where he's going to be. Is it this one? Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, God. Oh, I panicked to press E. I got him stuck in the door. Okay, well, I'm not sure I'm going to deal with this idiot then. Let's go like that. Let's get faced up. Push him down. There we go. Perfect. And then just see. Oh, oh brutal. Brutal. Right into your gob. Anything on you? No, not particularly. I will take the tweezers. Thank you very much. Anything that looks like a tool is going to come with me. More bleach. I might have to leave some of you here. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, it's like a full-on storage room. Oh, do I want to live here? A wooden mallet, barbed wire, empty bucket, and some charcoal. What about this one over here? What have you got for me? Nothing. But... I like the idea of having one big room. There's lots of curtains in here as well. Bookshelf and a nice big double bed. What's in here? Anything? Nails and twine. I like the idea of having like a dedicated storage room like that. That seems like a good idea to me. You grab the corpse. You know what? Don't second guess, Josh. Just do. Don't think, just do. Let's take the corpse. Let's get it outside. This could be my new digs. Let's have a little look through all of the uh, all of the cabinets. There's some orange soda in there. Thank God it's orange soda, not orange either, because they are definitely not the same thing. No worth getting an argument of matches for, though. A juice box, more matches. I'll take you. So now I've got a hundred durries. I just need a lighter or like more matches kind of thing. That's my more limiting factor than the actual cigarettes themselves. I'll close the curtains. Most of the windows in here already have curtains as well, which is a really good thing. Antidepressants, that's good. I'm pretty bloody moist. Thankfully, there's a bath towel right here. So let's just quickly just like floss the old Gucci boy and get yourself nice and dry because a dry boy is a happy boy. That's two book and nine references in a row. Probably just calm down a little bit. You know what? I'll take you. I'll take you. I'm going to get all the useful things and put them upstairs. I've got that big storage room for a reason. May as well make the most of it. I'm going to take all these books, put them in my garbage bag, just move them upstairs because I haven't like sealed off the lower floor yet. There's still lots of open windows, which is not good for me. All right, let's just go back up there. Let's drop all the stuff off. I'm pretty overburdened. It's also getting late at night as well. You look at all the windows up here. Definitely a good thing for me to be cruising around up here with all the lights on, with open windows, with lots of cops just down the road as well. I'll grab all of you. You can go into there as well. And to start moving things into this room, like this. You, that one there, you can just have all of this. Cigarettes are not food, but sure, whatever. Wet bath towel... Oh, that's right. So radios. Radios, I need to be finding one that has like the, um, attach. How do I use you? Place, equip, maybe? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I need to find one that has the emergency, oh, automatic emergency broadcast system. 88.8. All right, triple eights, lucky in some countries. Remember that. Because that's, I can tune any radio I want to into that frequency. I just have to find it first. So triple eights is what I've got. That's good. Nice. You can go away. And you can all go into here. My bath towel, tweezers, soap. Not the matches. I need the matches. Just everything can go away. Free up some inventory space so I don't get burdened down later. All right, it's getting a little bit late. I'm a little bit moist and a little bit peckish. So I could just duck downstairs before it gets too late at night. Stop sprinting, Josh. You definitely don't need to. And see if I can grab some food. All the windows in the kitchen are blocked up, which is good. Uh, what have you got for me? Can opener. Orange soda. Water bottle. Any, like, actual food other than a juice box? I thought there was more in here. I left it all in the other building, didn't I? All right, so tomorrow I'm going to have to go and get all my gubs out of that other house because I'm going to need it. Guess I'll just take the juice box and just drink here nice and quickly. Only two hunger, but lots of thirst. All right, I might save you then. Damn it. I'm hungry as well. Do I have time? It's nine o'clock. My The house I was living in is just over there. It's not too far to go, but being out at night seems like a really bad idea. Oh, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Before the sun goes down, Josh, nice and quick. Don't hesitate. Just do it. You'd waste all your time thinking about it rather than getting it done. We know there's food for us in there somewhere. Get in, get out, get snacky. Can't forget the purple light bulb as well. I'll take both of you. What else is around? Anything good? Can I put empty bowls? No. Dish towel roast? I'll take the roasting pans, actually. Can make yourself some delicious treats later on. And improve your happiness by eating roast meals. Anything else here? No, that's all about it. All right. Uh, let's do one last little look-see around. Check the bookshelves for a magazine. Uh, Lane's auto manual. Not a Haynes auto manual, but a Lane's auto manual. And quickly grab... 
Oh, I can do this tomorrow, Josh. This might be a bit, a bit too ambitious. I'm only like five minutes away from home. I just need a couple more curtains to really make sure my upstairs is as good as possible. Remove those as well. Just take what you can, Josh. I'd rather have what I need now and maybe fight off one or two zombies than the other way around. We're about to be overburdened. We're drowsy, we're hungry, we're moist, and we're unpleasantly hot. So that's all right. That's all right, though. There's no zombies around. I'm on the home stretch. It's about to be night time. I did grab a fair few curtains as well, so I can make this place a little bit better for me. That house has been all sorts of fucked up. Right, I want to make this room, add sheet, I want to make this room a bit more secure. This is where I'm going to be watching like TV and stuff like that. I feel like if I lock down the first floor first, then uh, I'll be a little bit more secure in the future. Put some up on there as well. Close the curtains. I know you're getting hungry, that's what I'll feed you in a second. Just calm down. Device options turn you off for the moment. No point having it on if I'm going to be down here anyway. Here we go. Add sheets to that one as well. Just get everything nice and secure. Then we'll head upstairs for a kit. All my food into my fridge like that. There we go. I think I had an extra one here. Yes, I did. Oh, actually, before I do that, let's eat the rest of you. Eat the last half of a can of tuna. I thought that's going to make me, like, not hungry. Maybe just slightly peckish. Yep, now I'm just peckish. All right, let's take a fat slice of cake. Put you inside as well. A whole slice. You're like, full Eric Cartman on the school bus. Put it all inside you and share none of it. There we go. Now I'm just drowsy. Okay, good. What else have I got on me? Anything good? Empty can can. You can just go short middle of the floor. That seems logical. What about here? Roasting pan, a bunch of other things. You can all go into this one, I suppose. Uh, yeah, like that. In you go. I might... Ooh. I don't think I'll read Lane's auto manual first. I might try to read like uh, Carpentry for Beginners, which I think I saw I had. Let's just check the bookshelves. You, nothing. You, nothing. It must be upstairs then. That's fine. All right. It's time for a nap, I think. No time for reading. The sun's gone down. I don't want to overexert myself for today. So I might just like put the last of these things away and go to bed. Do not have anything? So what, you guys? That's silly. All right. That's fine. Roasting pan. You can go into here. There you go. I'll put the book with the other books and we're right to go. Carpentry for beginners. That's the one I want. So I'll take you and I'll put you on my person. Good. I'm drowsy. That's fine. It's 11 o'clock at night. The curtains are closed. So I'm going to have a cheeky sleep. Now, normally after one day, this is where I would leave the episode, but I'm having too much fun. I don't want to end it yet. We're going to go two days, two days in one episode, extra content, longer episodes, because why bloody not? Let's have a sleep. I'm getting a little bit hungry. That's all right. It is first thing in the morning. You are going to want some cheeky breakfast. Nice. There we go. Okay, let's get out of here. Such with our welding mask on. That's a good bloody effort. Have a cheeky peek out the window. No, nope, no one's out that way. That's good. Let's go get some snacks out of the fridge. Go get our books. Sit down in front of the TV and have a lovely morning all to ourselves. I will have... I will have ice cream for breakfast. All the things that I've ever been told about what you can and can't have for breakfast. I'm gonna fucking have ice cream and you can't stop me. Here we go, turn on life and living TV and we're just gonna plonk our booties down right in front, just like that. Now you, real quick, we're just gonna eat like less than a quarter, maybe like an eighth or something, that'd be fine with me, but that's all right. Eat you, that should make me nice and happy. Eating ice cream makes everybody happy, right? There we go, no longer hungry. Let's start reading the book. And we're just gonna sit here and enjoy our morning. Speed up time a little bit, because we're gonna read like per page, goes a little bit faster, but more importantly, um, eventually, oh, I need a smoke. Eventually, my show will come on, so I can learn from the book, I can learn from the TV program, and we can have a lovely bloody time. Is it 8 o'clock you come on? Actually, 9 o'clock. That's fine. Have a nice casual morning. We've got no errands to run today. We're fine. We're fine. No need to rush out of the house as soon as the sun comes up. Is it 9 o'clock the show comes on then? I'm peckish again. Jeez, you ate like three scoops of ice cream before and you're still hungry about it. No, not 9 o'clock? You should be on the right channel. You are on the right channel. All right. Never bloody mind then. Let's just leave you to your own devices then. Give you 10 more minutes. Nah, all right, get stuffed then, Jigglypuff. Let's just leave my book in here. I plan on reading it tomorrow. In you go. I'll eat another quart of an ice cream there, and then we'll go raiding once again. I've smoked my diary for the day. I'm getting bored. You just sat there, ate ice cream, read a book, and watched TV. You shouldn't be bored at all. What a big bag of wind. The bag of wind, uh, the bag that I'm currently carrying is less of a bag of wind than you are. Here you go. You can go into there, actually, because that's the freezer. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's get out there. Let's get cracking. There are things to be found in the world and I need to find them too sweet. 
I want to find where that horde has gone. If I can, like, pick off a couple of them. That's really the only population of zombies that are around me right now. So if I can get rid of them, I'll feel a whole lot safer around here. There's one up in the trees up there. No one down that way. Just, like, take your time. Work through the areas you know are clear. But look how clear it is now. So remember that, that alarm going off at the start could have been a blessing, assuming I got out of there in one piece, which I managed to, which is pretty bloody great of me, let's be honest. But now that they're all... Ah, there you all are. Up enjoying the trees. You're all a bunch of ver very enthusiastic arborists. Couple of cops. All right, well, if you're up there doing not a lot, can I have a squeeze inside you? I can. What have you got? Mint candy? Ooh. Ooh. Don't... Okie dokie. I'll take you. I'll take you. I'll take your credit card. And I'll take your wallet. I think I took his wallet. Uh, is, can I do anything with you, actually? I don't think so. All right, never mind. Then. You can have that back. Anything else around? What if I go to the driver's seat? Oh, I'm in the driver's seat, actually. No fuel. No key. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Always worth a check, though. What about the boot? Anything good? Tactical walkie-talkie and a bunch of 223s. All right, not really for me right now, but I'll keep it in mind for later. Yes, that'll do me nicely. I was trying to lure a couple of zombies out. Not the whole lot of them. There's a couple more up there in those trees I didn't want to fight. But this seems like a job for me and my new metal pole. Come on, buddy. Bonky in the face. I did a whole lot of damage. Oh, no, not like that. Not like that. Needed to be in a line. Bonk you. Shove your back. Bonk your friend and shove you down as well. If you could all just lie down and wait your turn and come a beating in the skull, that would be lovely. Oh, fuck. They brought their friends. Come on. Come on. Make better use of him. Oh, the backhand. The backhand. Call me fucking Federer and Nadal. I don't really give a shit. I will win any grand slam you give me because I'm slamming fucking skulls. Bonk. And then... Bonk. Oh, that was in the dick too. Stand on your chest and swat your friends. So this is the nice thing about when zombies go down like that. You can... Oh, we've got a couple of crawlers. You can stand on their titties and stop them from getting up again, which is you lots of time to deal with their friends that are coming for you. All right. This looks fine. Keep your ankles out of arm's reach. Squish you. Squish you. Oh, happy days. Look at me go. The zombies thought they had my measure. I've clearly got theirs. Oh, a cheeky hand fork as well. Yes, give me that. I don't know how many more are up here. I'm going to try and sneak attack this, Jeff. Didn't quite work, but it worked out enough. Finish her off. There you go. And then good on you. Please, T-shirt. A double holster. Yes, please. Give me that. Shoes, shoe pants. They're all negatives. That's fine. So that holster, does that give me more options down here? Let's go where? It does. I got five hot bar slots. Yes, bloody please. Happy with that. Nothing in the barbecue. All right, nice. So the windows of this place have already been beaten out, so I assume there's no alarm, although that's a pretty bold assumption. An alarm going off in the house next to my house is a really bad time, and I really don't want it to happen. Can I... Can I have a squeeze? Doors open. Anyone inside? Nope, looks all fine and dandy. All right, nice. Let's make sure you're tuned into the right station, because it does come on while I'm raiding this place. I'll be able to duck over here and have a cheeky tune in. Good, good, good. All right, book, nothing. Let's see what's going on. There's not really an awful lot in this house at all. Loot-wise, it's pretty bloody empty. So yeah, nah, mate, never bloody mind. Also no curtains. In fact, that's what I was supposed to do today, wasn't it? I was supposed to go to the old house. Oh, wait, something's on the TV. Something is on the TV. Anything in the books? No, nothing. All right, well, let's quickly just sit on. In fact, can I go? Let's rest up on the couch and watch the TV for us. What are you playing? What's on today? I'm slightly peckish. Woodcraft. Yes, please. All right, give me that. I'm all rested up. So let's just go and sit right in front of the TV. Make sure we can hear it, even though it's turned all the way down. Give me that. Give me that goodness. Look how fast the experience goes up. Plus 12.5 all the bloody time. Teach me, senpai. Teach me, TV. Teach me all the skills I've never had. We're leveling up all over the place. Happy days, lads. Just making sure I take anything of value. Mechanics for beginners. That's pretty valuable. Advanced fishing. Maybe not for me right now, but down the track, definitely happy that I have that. Anything in here? Take a squiz. Did I leave anything behind last time? Pants, guitars, crayons, and a Rubik's Cube. Okay. Oh, and a curtain. Give me the curtain. Give me the curtain. Remove that. If I get a curtain on every one of my windows in the other house, I'll feel happy about it. Duck out of here. This is my storage boxes. Right, what have you got for me? I'll take you. Can open. I'm going to try to take that. Ooh. 
Rip Chase might have been a good idea to have in general. Not sure why I put those away. If it did start bleeding at some point, that would have been bad for me. Favorite use, so it leaves you again. Dead rags, dish towel, vinegar. Sure, you can go into that one. Blue pen as well. Uh, wait, what else is in there? Anything else? Twine? Sure. Sure. I've got that whole storage room of the new house. I want to fill up with goodies. Bleach, bath towel, soap. I'll take some soap. Always need some soap to make yourself nice and clean. Even though you like, you know, the world is full of shamble little balls of disgustingness. Or make sure you don't fit in with them. Fitting in with them would be pretty embarrassing. Video game, electric guitar, no. Lots of curtains in here though. Farming for intermediates, grab that one too. Nice, take the curtains, let's go back home. Nice, I'm feeling good about this. Having a successful day after a successful day. It's unusual for me. Home sweet home, open the door. In fact, while I'm here, let's add a sheet to you. My poor guy is burdened down. He's cucumbered like you wouldn't believe with all of the gubs in the world. Uh, remove curtains, close the curtains, there we go. I know you're under a heavy load, but you'll be okay. Right. Blind, blind, blind. They've all got curtains. That's all got curtains. Don't leave a curtain in there because that window is already blocked by the door. You've got a blind on you as well. Okay, good. So my bottom floor is, for the most part, nice and secure. Let's go upstairs. See what's going up here as well. You add a sheet. I'm not going to have the same problem with that that I had in the other house where I couldn't reach the window, therefore couldn't put curtains on it. Because that's the case. That's going to be really bloody annoying. Can I build like a ladder or something to get over to there? You, add sheets. No, come on, hop the balcony and shove it on there. Oh, that's inconvenient, but that's all right. We will deal. Uh, how many sheets do I have left? I've got one, just the one. Okay, where's the most important window to have it? You're already all covered up. What window needs more than anything? Definitely that one. Add sheets, there you go. But I don't need to go, that's what I got a blind on, I think as, as well, actually. I don't need to go into the rooms that have open windows. I can avoid doing that unless I really need to, though you already have a window, uh, not a window, you already have a curtain, so we're fine there. Nice, I think our house is nice and secure now. Oh, mate, it's getting a little bit anxious. That's okay though, let's just duck into the lounge room. What's the time? It's almost, what, four? I don't know when the TV comes back on again. You're still on though, so I'll find out when you do. Uh, I might even just punch a durry just here, right in the middle of my land room. My whole house is going to smell like smoke, but whatever. Whatever. Hopefully the zombies don't notice it. I'm going to really drop my value of the property. Take you. Make yourself feel better. Nice. I'm a little bit peckish. I've eaten half the grapes already. I'll eat the other half. That should get myself nice and sorted out. I'm feeling good about this, though. We're looking like we're in a pretty decent position. What do I do for the rest of the day? What can I do? I've got a saw upstairs... If I'm going to start disassembling stuff, I need a hammer. A hammer for you. I think maybe I can use the saw on a bed. I'm not sure. I need tools. I need to find some tools. Tools are the dream. You. Can I start breaking you down? Disassemble. Fancy bed. Needs the hammer as well. Always. <gasps> More durries. Don't know who was in this room, but apparently they're stashing in their dresser. Don't tell anyone else about it. I raided this house, didn't I? I'm pretty sure. I think so. I hope so. I've been really cavalier if I haven't yet. Well, so there's still a lot. Oh, I definitely haven't because there's still durries on the counter. I'll grab you. Thank you. Uh, can't open a dish towel. I'll grab you in case I do start getting all moisty again. Anything else? No. Marinara. I'll take you if I get peckish later on. Thank you. Always raiding for food. Always need food until I can sort out my farm. But that's a long way off just yet. Have a cheeky peek upstairs. I don't feel particularly confident, so we'll get our pipe out just in case. That little looking nice and clear in here. Let's even... Can I turn on the lights, please, so I can see a little bit better? There we go. Right, what's in... Ooh, a flight case. And a closed umbrella. You might have something worthwhile. In fact, you might even be better to store stuff in than the trash bag. What have you got? Capacity 5, weight reduction 20, as opposed to... Capacity 20, weight reduction 10. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the best way to go about that's going to be. Let's quickly put you on my primary, see if there's anything inside you. No, there's not. I might just leave you on the ground then for the moment. Flight case, go away. Oh, in the box even. All right, fair enough then. I'll take some more curtains while I'm here. Always like having some curtains, even if it's some spare ones. I'd rather have more than less. Grab you. What's in the bedside table? A satchel. <gasps> Capacity 15, weight reduction 30? Yes, please. Do you go on my dick? Do you go on my butt? Or do you go in my hand? Put a container, equip on back. Does that get rid of my pipe? 
No, it just goes around me pipe. Sweet, I can now carry around all the Skittles that a growing bearded boy could ever bloody need. All hitting old man in public with my satchel, just like Indiana Jones would. That's right, so that's what Indiana Jones does. That seems about right to me. I'm gonna put everything into my satchel because it, because it has that more weight reduction. I feel, I think that's like a percentage of how much weight it saves you. So having a higher reduction means it should make me less uh, burdened down from this fairly heavy load. Come on, keep going. Everything into my satchel, please. Right, yeah, I'm only 400 grams overweight now before it was like a full kilo, so that's good for me. Let's pull out the old metal pipe again, just in case. There's some more blinds there, though I have enough. I have enough. I have to calm down at some point. I just can't just take every bit of scrap fabric that you come across. Red pen, red base. Nothing else in here. Can I take you? Maybe? Nah, that's all right. We can work on, like, decorating our house later on. For the moment, let's just make sure we're not going to get eaten anytime soon. Oh, 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 oh. It's the pancake show. I missed my pancake show last time. Right, sit on the ground. Let's just enjoy what's on. Do I have any food? Because I'm kind of peckish. I do. Let's eat. Uh, let's eat half my jerky. That's fine. We can sit here, enjoy the cooking shows, and eat my dried out cow. <gasps> Exposure survival? Yes, please. Give me that. Teach me how to survive. What are you going to level up? Something? Farming. Yes, good. Home sweet home. Uh, well, now that I have all the extra curtains, I will actually go in and I will put a curtain up on you. Any exterior windows needs a curtain now. Up you go. Nice. Close curtains. Right. We're going to start sorting out our inventory now as well. So there's my fridge. You're full of food or just or some food actually. In you go. That can all go into the bookshelves. What else have I got? So that's in there. You're empty and... That's all like my normal stuff that can go into my fridge as well. There we go. Good bandages. I can come with it back upstairs. Yes, yeah, so we're getting our lives sorted out now. I like it. Oh, actually, while I'm here, because I'm not really coming back downstairs tonight, I don't think. I'll grab my carpentry for beginners. Take that upstairs with me. Can I read that before bed? All the sheets away into there. So if I do need some more curtains later on, I have the means to do it. In fact, I think I need one. I think the bathroom still needs one. I'm not entirely sure. No, nope, you've already got one. All right, we're fine. We're fine. You, sheets, in you go. All the rest of these are books, which are for my bookshelf in my bedroom. I like this house. I really like this house, guys. It's like, I don't know. It feels like a place that I can kind of hold down. Everything has its place. Everything feels good. Everything except... Oh, no, that's all fine. That's all the stuff out of my satchel. In you go. My book that I'm going to read tonight is in my garbage bag. Not that it's garbage. There's some extra storage goodness feeling good about this, which is dangerous. Confidence broods uh, complacency, and I'm the king of complacency even when I'm nervous, so not particularly looking forward to that, but let's go there. There we go. Can I sit in this lovely, like, doily chair? No? No? Just sit on the ground then? All right, sit on the ground next to our bed. Ignore the fact we have furniture. Let's read some of you just to keep off the night. Just going to read until 9.30. There it is. How far did we get? We're about halfway through the book. All right, that's fine. I'll leave you on me, actually, because I will read you first thing in the morning. Let's go here. Let's have a cheeky sleep. Although, that's ah, great. I thought, I thought for a second the drowsy symbol was like the anxious symbol, but it's not. It's just the fact that I'm a little bit sleepy, as you'd expect. Come on, buddy. Do like a toddler and sleep through the night. Not quite. Not quite. That's okay. 3.40 in the morning. That's a good time to start the next day. But I don't have to leave this episode here. Gone much better now that I've had some practice at Zomboid as opposed to before when I was just running around like a partially decapitated chicken and getting myself in all sorts of trouble. Now I'm decapitating zombies rather than the other way around. And so far, so good. No one's had a nibble of me just yet. All my fingers and all my toes are still in all working condition. We're doing a okay. So I'll have to leave this episode here and come back and continue to dominate the apocalypse in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.